my name is Bun and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Bun or Bunny and online I go as It's Bun Gaming. So my little intro is always, hi everyone, it's Bun. <laughs> this is my YouTube channel where I'm going to be posting gameplays. So cute, fun gameplays on games like Kirby, Animal Crossing, uh, some adventure games like Zelda, some visual novel style games. A little bit of variety. Um, I probably won't really do scary games, though I do love creepy cute games. So definitely stay tuned for stuff like that. Stuff that's really cute but has a, a secret dark side. So <laughs> I love stuff like that. Um, I'm also going to be posting videos on kawaii gaming gear. So like my mostly very pink setup, um, pink gaming gear, like controllers and things to upgrade your setup with. And I'm also gonna post some, I guess you could say like kawaii lifestyle type of vids. So I'm gonna be posting some vlogs, some makeup videos um, every now and then, maybe some cute outfit videos, cause I really like pink and pesto rainbow fashions. If you like that stuff, stay tuned. Um, but for my first little video here, I wanted to do a gamer tag so that you guys can get to know me a little bit better and I wrote up some gaming themed questions so we're gonna hop right into those so the first question I have is my first console which okay I'll do first console and first handheld my first console was the purple Nintendo GameCube which I still get such nostalgia like I really want to buy that um, purple Nintendo GameCube controller but for your switch because all the nostalgia oh my gosh I played so many hours of games with my brothers on that back in the day it was it was my console I actually asked for it when I was I think five or six um, and I remember getting it for Christmas one year honestly I don't remember at all what prompted me to ask for a GameCube. And then my brothers were younger than me, so they would play on it too. Actually, my older sister played on it a little bit as well. I have a sister who's eight years older than me. She goes by Cherry Cheesecake. I'll tag her. Um, she's great. She uh, has inspired my pink style a good bit, so I look up to my sister a lot. Um, and then I have two younger brothers, one that's five years younger than me and seven years younger than me. And I am currently, as of filming this video, 26. First handheld was the Nintendo DS. The first big bulky silver DS. I'll put a picture here. Uh, yeah, that was my first um, handheld. And you know why I wanted that handheld so bad? I mean, I loved that. I played lots of games on it, like the crazy Sims 2 game, which I might have to revisit on my channel because the game was wild. I also played Brett's Forever Diamonds and other stuff on there, but the game that I had to have the DS for, Nintendogs. <laughs> that game holds a special place in my heart. My Shiba Inu Haley never left me as long as, you know, I would leave that game for a long time and she never left me, my Haley. The GameCube and the DS, classic Nintendo systems. Like, I kinda want a DS again. Maybe I'll, <laughs> Maybe I'll buy a DS on mine and like make a video. We'll see. I loved the DS because Nintendogs was the stuff. There's one game I have on my Switch that was supposed to be like Nintendogs. I like the game, but no shade. It does not live up. Like Nintendogs? Ooh, it does not live up. Fave childhood games and first game. The first game I remember having and playing. Actually, like my memory, I feel like is failing me because I'm between two games now that I remember getting the GameCube. But what I've always said was my first game was Tech and the Power of Juju. This is way before it was like a show on Nickelodeon, I think, but way before that. And that game was really fun, pretty hilarious, but also like after the first boss, it got so difficult. I never knew what to do past that. Like my brother and I kept trying and we we're like, we don't know where to go. We don't know what to do. But also another game that I remember playing really early on, like I think I remember it snowing in this game because I got the game for Christmas with the GameCube. But I got um, Scooby-Doo 
and the House of a Thousand Frights, I think is what it was called. But I remember playing that and it would like snow on Christmas and have fireworks on 4th of July. They had little details in there. It was like, okay, I see Scooby-Doo. This Scooby-Doo game, it hit. That was a good game. <laughs> and like, you could progress pretty well in the game. And they had a lot of cool like, like platforming type of things, but it was really fun. <laughs> Like, remembering that game, it was really fun. Other favorite childhood games? Okay, so, you guys, I'm a little old, <laughs> if you, if any, you really young people are watching this, but we had, back in the day, we had the Blockbuster, and like, for me, we had Hollywood Video, where you would go rent your video game. One that I don't remember renting, but I remember buying, I remember I asked my mom for this game at Best Buy, and it came with the memory card, was Animal Crossing. We all know, such a classic. And that, before New Horizons, well, okay, I'm not counting Pocket Camp because that's a little phone game, but before New Horizons, that was the only Animal Crossing game I played. So I need to do a little series where I go back and play the others, but that Animal Crossing on the GameCube, like I like New Horizons, but something about the GameCube Animal Crossing just hit. Like it kept you entertained somehow. So one game I never owned, but I would always rent from the video store, is Harvest Moon. Woo! I need, I, I wanna go back and play that game soon, but it was Harvest Moon and it was like, it's a wonderful life, but there's two versions and I would always, I don't remember the other one, honestly, for me, but I would always play the one where you could be a girl. And that game, it was kinda like Animal Crossing in a sense where it was like, those characters had flavor. They, they're what made the game really. And the game was just so fun. And I always loved when I could finally get a horse and stuff like that. Like literally, I rented that game so many times. And I'm not joking. I rented it so many times that one time the game got lost, like from the video store. I guess they couldn't remember who rented it or what happened and it had not been returned on time. But they called us and they were like, do you guys have that game? And we we're like, no, we don't have it, which we didn't. But like that's i rented it back to back to back to back i loved harvest Moon. so most hours in a video game actually let me check my switch um i have to grab one from over here because i have two oh sorry i'm shaking my camera i have two highly played games one on each switch so let me see which one wins both of my most hours in a game, and I can guarantee, like, okay, I have my PC, I have my PlayStation, but I play my Switch the absolute most. I love the handheld ability, um, and honestly, like, I don't know, I guess my favorite games are just on the Switch. I love my PlayStation and my PC, so um, I know there's no contest there, but Animal Crossing actually came in second with 440 hours or more. And Dead by Daylight came in first. I'm surprised it's this much of a difference. <laughs> With 545 hours or more. That's a lot of time. <laughs> but, um, I don't know if you can see. Let's see if it'll be focused. Maybe not. Fave game and fave character. This one's an easy one for me. And, um, even though this is kind of like, I'm, I'm basically fresh starting my channel. I know I didn't really mention that too much in the beginning. But, um, if you've watched my channel, you probably know this. Or, if, well, if you follow me on Instagram for a long time, you might know this. Um, I have posted about it lately. But my ultimate favorite game is Life is Strange. I have an obsession with this game. And it's just, it is so good. It is so good. Like, okay, let me be real with you. Some of the dialogue's a little cheesy, but that's part of the charm of the game. Life is Strange is about a girl, Max Caulfield, who uh, moves back to, um, I guess it's her hometown. She moves back and she is going to school and then she runs into her ex-best friend. They didn't have a fight, they just grew apart, you know. Um, she runs into her ex-best friend, Chloe. So Max is the main girl and Chloe is the one she runs into. And then all of a sudden, Max can time travel and it gets really crazy and really emotional. And so, yeah, it's really, really cool and good. It's, oh, it's a great game. Like if you haven't played it, I highly recommend it, but also like be prepared because you're probably gonna cry. My favorite character is Chloe Price from that game. She's a purpley blue haired, punk girl and she's just 
she's had a rough life, but like, she's cool. I love her. Two games that you're looking forward to. I was gonna say two games I'm looking forward to playing because I just, um, I just bought one of them. So I'm gonna play it here on my channel. And the other one I don't think I've bought yet. I'm super excited to play Stray with the cute little kitty. And I've been waiting to play that game for a long time. Like, I'm so glad that it's out now. And so I bought it, so I'll be playing it soon. <laughs> um, and the other game that I'm looking forward to playing is, uh, I think it's called Culta the Lamb. Um, I'll put the little picture up here, but it's on the Switch and it's like a creepy cute game. Like you're a cute little lamb, but then it's like about cults. <laughs> and so I'm like, I like that. One game I'm looking forward to that is not released yet that I think many of us are looking forward to is Breath of the Wild 2. Like Breath of the Wild is what A got me into Zelda and B like, that was like the first game I really played on the Switch and it's just so good. It's amazing, like I cannot wait. Ah! Yeah, that game is gonna be awesome to play. Fave and least fave genres. Well, honestly, it depends on the mood I'm in. Like, favorite genre would probably be like cozy games slash adventure game. No, RPG. RPG is probably my top because I really love like Skyrim and like adventure style games like that where you can just explore a big world and um yeah it, those those are just really great. I really love like the, the storylines in those a lot of the time. It's nice. I like that. Least favorite type of game. Okay hear me out on this. Dead by Daylight is my most played game but horror games are probably my least favorite. Dead by Daylight is different to me because it's like more multiplayer and I'm not scared in Dead by Daylight. <laughs> it's just like fun and like it's kind of a rage game a little bit. That game doesn't necessarily count as horror to me because it's just not scary and it's not horror in the same genre where you're like walking through scary stuff and like get jump scared and things come like creep up on you and stuff like that. So like I wouldn't say I dislike the horror genre. I I do and I like watching people play it, but honestly it's hard for me to make it through those games because I do get scared. Like I love scary movies, I love scary stuff, um, but for me playing those games is kind of hard because I, for some reason it's different. So I was playing Resident Evil 8 recently and I love the tall vampire mommy um, section of the game. And I wasn't really scared during any of that, but then when I went to the next place, which I forgot what it is, um, there's a section where you have no weapons and it's dark and this giant scary baby thing chases you in the dark. And I don't like that. I think I don't like the lack of control. Oh, wait a minute, hold on. That might not be my least favorite genre. Okay, sorry if you guys don't like me for this. And I'm not saying I don't like games that have this in it because there are plenty of games like okay Zelda's for one a game that I like that has this but I don't like straight up puzzle games like my brain don't like to do that and it does not compute and then I just get frustrated and not even like ragey it's just like I feel not good playing them because I'm like I don't understand and I don't want to have to look up everything favorite villain in a game this isn't a spoiler because they're a villain straight up from the beginning. Um, and I'm not gonna tell you like more about backstory and lore and stuff like that. Cause that would spoil the game. But um, I really like Higgs from Death Stranding. He's really cool and he's got like the goopy powers and he can levitate and make things out of the black goop stuff <laughs> in the game. <laughs> um, what is Death Stranding? I don't know. I, I, that's one of my favorite games too though. I really like that game. You know, some people call it just a walking simulator. Well, it was hella fun walking. <laughs> so for some reason it was. Actually, you know, part of the reason it was because I'm chaotic and I would try to drive my motorcycle up a full freaking mountain. <laughs> and I, like, I would be stubborn. I would make it work. Yeah, I really like Higgs. He's really cool and just, I don't know, his vibe is nice. He, he's just a really cool character um, throughout most of the game, you know? He, and he can like, levitate and he's got the um the bb on him but his is like red and creepy and like yeah i don't know i just love it what types of games will i play on my channel oh i kind of already answered that but a lot a lot of different types um we're gonna play 
some choice-based games like Life is Strange, hopefully some Detroit Become Human, because um, I haven't played that game before and I really want to. Um, we're going to play some RPG adventure style games, some cozy games like Animal Crossing and Stardew, um, visual novel style games, which is kind of like those ones where it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a video game as a comic book, like you get little text boxes and a lot of times they're like dating simulators and cute stuff like that. So um, yeah, I think we're going to play a lot of different types of games, um, creepy cute games, like I said, ah, I like that genre. That is all that I had on my list. If you guys have more questions for me, then please, please, please leave them in the comments below because yeah, I'm really excited <laughs> and I want to answer your questions. And if I get a lot of questions, then I could make like a part two or something. Please, uh, if you like this video, be sure to hop on that like button and subscribe to join our little bunny fluffle. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all your support. And yeah, welcome to my channel and please subscribe. <laughs> Alrighty, thank you guys for watching. Mwah. Bye.